My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. John Capistran. He was a Franciscan who lived in the 1400s, and he is known as a staunch defender of the Catholic faith. He would write treaties against the heresies of the day. He's also known as the soldier priest because he led the battle of Belgrade against the Turks who were sieging the city, and they were able to raise the siege and save the city. And St. John is known as one of the four pillars of the observance, along with Bernardine of Siena, James of the March, and St. Leonard of Port Morris. But we see in the Gospel today what could be considered for us a reminder of the Catholic truth of purgatory. Because Jesus says that, you know, if we're handed over by our opponent, we can be sent by the judge to jail. And he says, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. So there's good news to that. The good news is that there's a release. That means it's not the eternal punishment of hell, thanks be to God, that there is this purification of sins that can take place after we are dead. But we don't want to aim for purgatory. I know some people who tell me, they say, Father, I'm aiming for purgatory. And I said, no, no, don't aim for purgatory. Aim for heaven. Because if you miss heaven, you have a safety net. If you miss purgatory, where are you? You get to hell. Right. So we want to remember what we are told. And that is that by baptism, the one baptism and the one faith, by our celebration of the sacraments, by our recognition of Jesus as Lord, allowing him to be Lord of our life, submitting ourselves to his lordship in every area of our lives, including the area of of life of our own sanctification, we can become saints and great saints. So we don't aim for purgatory today. We aim for heaven and we ask St. John of Capistrano to pray for us in that regard.